so you guys this episode had like the most beautiful scene ever this season or should i even say like the entire show throughout the show this was my own most beautiful scene it was just so adorable seeing faith um faith tony and laura's kids just like coming together to have fun it was such a breath a breath of fresh air right and it also goes to show how their friendship grew throughout the show because for you to be like um bringing your kids together to have fun is you know that goes to show like they really bonded very well and i'm living for that friendship between them so first of all we had let me just let me just start because that's how the the episode actually started it started from that part so welcome back to my channel if you are new here please do want to subscribe turn on your post notifications so that you can get notified when i post a brand new video and do not forget to give this video a thumbs up so first of all we had faith and her son they went on a staycation together to just you know spend some quality time later on that night they even had like a proper dinner date where they both dressed up and they were looking like each other's dates right it was so cute and then while they were there having like their dinner she was not explaining to him what has been going on with her why she has not really been able to spend as much time with him and he was also expressing that you know he understands and they were just just in just in, like the rapport they had it was almost it was giving like age mate type rapport right so their relationship is really really nice and then the next day that's when laura and tony now joined them laura came with her kids tony also came with her kids so it was like this mommy's day out with children type of thing and then tony <laughs> So he literally came with um the egungu egungu hat. That's what that hat that she was giving was giving egungu hat. Egungu egungu is like masquerade, right? So, but it fits because apparently it felt like it really like um, protected her from the sun and everything. So the events or what they were doing there. First of all, they wanted to paint. They wanted the children to paint, but. They were not having it. It was only it was only Laura's daughter that wanted to even like try and paint. The rest of them just wanted to go into the pool, have some fun, and which is what they later did. They just abandoned the painting and went to swim. The big boys looked like they were having the most fun. That's um Tony's son and Faith's son. They were literally in a world of their own, playing their pool games, them, you know, doing different stunts, playing with their ball and everything. So they were just in a world of their own. In general, it was such a lovely gathering right and then after that we now also had like tanya and her family they were having a photo shoot so first of all she was talking about the plan her plan to host the ladies she said she didn't want it to be like yabo's own events where they were you know bickering and everything she said she wanted an environment where the ladies will not be able to bicker i said okay <laughs> You don't know these people and then after that they now started like the the photo shoots for like a family i think they were having like a family portrait type photo shoots and the pictures were also really cute like the daughter made sure to include the dog <laughs> in their picture and then aside that it was like a nice photo shoot session pictures came out nice and then after that, they showed Miriam in her elements. That's her work. She was meeting up with one of her big clients, Sujimoto. That's the CEO of Sujimoto. Sujimoto is a real estate company, a big real estate company. So she also mentioned that he's now like family. He is, in fact, the god father to her child right so the, apart from like just work they also have like a relationship outside of that so they were just discussing the ongoing project was telling her that they have a project and they are building the biggest twin tower in africa africa you guys are like okay that's a good one and um he was just talking to miriam based on like pr person that she was she's the one that is supposed to like do the promotions and everything so that was the conversation there and then they now showed choma in her office you guys know that in the previous season i've been mean, on this season at the beginning of the season she mentioned that she wanted to do like a complete renovation of the place but i didn't even know that it was going to be like you know taking everything out completely so when they showed you it was like literally to the ground they were rebuilding from scratch right so she got there and everything was still like ground level she wasn't happy about that because according to her it had been on for like two months and no work had been done yet so she just expressed that she wasn't happy about it to them and later on laura now called her and told her that you know um for them just asked for them to meet up laura now went to meet her there they had like you know they had the 
conversation for a bit. Then I later took the conversation downstairs. So it was in this conversation that tea started flowing. You know, all this while, like at the beginning of the episode, the beginning parts of the episode, we just had like family moments. So this is where T and gist about the ladies now came up and it was Choma that brought it up. She talked about Laura's event and then started off by saying that the lip gloss, that's Laura's lip product is what she has been using for some time. And in fact, that's what she still had on in that scene, which was really nice. Like, you know, just patronizing her and everything. So Laura was happy about that. And then she now spoke about the awkwardness at Laura's events you know laura was up and about so she didn't even know what was going on and then shama now said um it was fate dr romeo and miriam right and for laura she seemed like she was not really trying to like dip the whole thing like okay let's not really go into the negative part of this gist let's just talk about what good can come of it you get so she now mentioned that um fate and miriam she believes that they are going to be fine that they're going to vibe because um to her they have a lot in common and precisely the their choice of men that, and then um she mentioned them both being slim and everything that they have a lot in common Sha, and that they are going to be close i said okay and then she now told choma that she thinks that choma and miriam they would also they also i sorry first choma and miriam what am i saying choma and faith that they are also going to be good that she sees she sees the similarities between them that's one be, them being fashionable and business savvy and everything that's you know what's up so choma just told her that she doesn't see it that way that if they were going to vibe they would have vibed already that faith is just there that she's giving zero energy and then Laura now referred to the energy as calm energy. Like, you know, she's giving calm energy. I just like the way Laura responds when they are saying something about faith. And she's like, okay, she'll just twist it and like, you know, twist and turn it to the other way. So she was saying that the energy that faith is bringing is like calm energy and diva energy. Immediately she said diva energy. I just knew that Chema was going to say something off because I'm pretty sure she did not like um faith being referred to as someone bringing diva energy so she said then that um that's not the energy she's giving that divas don't behave like that that um divas take control of their environments but as for faith she's giving nothing nada she's giving nothing i say mm -mm -mm -mm. okay this is coming from somebody that this season i don't even understand what she's giving she has not given us something tangible tangible apart from like some scenes where you just like uh yeah the uh, what do you call it um the the why is that thing that was keeping my head right now the um hey why am i forgetting this thing? the charity event and some other things apart from that it's just being had just almost like she's in the background somehow so it's like how are you saying that someone is giving nothing when that's literally you so it almost felt like she was talking about herself but then sometimes you will not even know what you're giving if you're in this scene. You think that you're giving your all, yeah, giving everything. Little, little would you know <laughs> that nothing come out. And then in her confessional, she was saying that she cannot read fate. I say, ah, she now book me. You want to read? Look deep, look deeper. Maybe you'll be able to read. And you know that was like that's all that happened in that scene. Later on, we now had um. Choma and Choma and Tanya, they met up at Tanya's husband's club. Um, she said he co-owns it with a friend, right? So they met up there to talk about the events that um, Tanya was trying to hold. So um, throughout, Tanya was just expressing that, you know, she's worried about how it's going to be, being that the ladies are already like, there's already tension that's happening between them. So how would um, she now host them in such a way that they will not be... <laughs> You guys, so they just started, they were just there just in, and this scene, Tom was looking so pretty, you guys, like, she was just glowing, her hair, everything was just so on point, even Tanya, Tanya looked, also looked really pretty in this particular scene, right, so they were now talking, and of course, this, they brought up the Laura's event, the awkwardness at Laura's event, and they mentioned that there were shades thrown, name, name calling that happened that day, I was like, oh, okay, 
they did not even show us that part. So, um, um, what do you call it? Tanya now said that. Is there something that she's missing? Because she's not understanding. She was just there being surprised, right? So, she always has, like, one facial expression or the other. So, this time around, it was surprised at what was going on. She was, like, she was just asking herself whether there's something she missed. Because the situation on ground is not, you know, reached to day that deep. It's not up to the point where they are, like, where they are, like, literally going at each other. Especially Miriam. Because this whole matter no concern her. So she was just talking about Miriam and why things got that serious. And then for Chama, she mentioned that Dr. Romeo gave her feedback on what they discussed. You guys know that Chama and Tanya told Dr. Romeo to have a conversation with Faith. So Chama was saying that Dr. Romeo gave her feedback about how everything went and that um Dr. Romeo said he was trying to have a conversation with Faith. But she wasn't having it. She just like left him and was just like telling her and telling him he's um he's not her friend. That in fact the event is not even for her. That it was Dr. Romel that hosted the event. So they now mentioned that the invite had both Dr. Romel's name and Faith's name. So like you know what are they even saying and everything. And then she was talking based on the feedback that Dr. Romel gave her, and she mentioned that so far so good that from what she has seen from dr romel's side he's really a sweet person he's a nice person and that she would like to hear from both sides for me i do not believe it i feel like she had already made her judgments and conclusions but let's just see let's see whether that is what she's going to do and then for tanya she said that she does not know him more. She does not know um Dr. Romeo. That all she knows is like he's a vibe, he has energy when it comes to like outside and everything. But she has not really had a one-on-one -on -one conversation with him, so she cannot like vouch for him and everything. Then Choma in her confessional, she was not talking about faith. She said that the energy that she's bringing, that they don't usually bring this kind of energy to the group. In this their group, they, that they don't usually bring this kind of energy. I said this group. I don't even know what this group is giving at this point because Chama is always like the group, the group, the group. She na COVID, I mean na COVID, I mean na what? What is it to this group, group, group? So Shasha, she said that, and they usually don't bring this kind of energy to the group. That um they usually fight dirty, that you know they fight dirty and everything, but they don't carry it on. That after that, that they let it go, they forget about it. It's not this kind of energy, this pettiness, and that they don't drag things and display this kind of negativity, demonic energy. She was just talking, talking, talking. She was talking bitterly. I said, ah. <laughs> what's going on? What's really going on in this your group? <laughs> Funny thing is like it was the hypocrisy for me because you say that you fight dirty, you guys fight dirty and you move on. This is someone that was still talking bad about Tony and her husband in this new season. After a whole year of like the season one finish and everything, you still carried it on to this season, carried the beef on to this season. Now you're telling me that you guys fight and you move on. Where, please, where in this people's group? Do you fight and you move on? Or let's even say that this is what she's saying is right. The group is so nice that they fight, they move on and everything. Let's say that everything is cool. So when a new person comes to the group, there are rules that the person is supposed to follow. You know, you're supposed to follow the group rules. In this group, we fight, we move on. We don't do like this. We call your friends because that's what, that's what it has been given since. This is how we behave in this group. You cannot come and behave otherwise. I, are we in like secondary school or what? Like, what is all this group thing? So, she was just saying that that's what they bring. I mean, that's how they are. So, I guess she wants Sweet to be like that. That's when she'll be able to understand the kind of... That's when she'll be able to understand her and be able to read her. So, you know, they just gisted, gisted, gisted. What else happened there? I think nothing much happened there. And then we had Tony and Laura's reconciliation. They had to really sit and talk about what exactly happened between them in season one right so they expressed at this point they expressed that they really like the the situation they're in now the way they are now and how much they've missed each other you know it was like a proper conversation proper reconciliation of like two people that were friends and really missed each other so they mentioned that um they allowed the ladies get into their heads and that uh, moving forward they're not going to allow that happen that they see what you know the ladies are trying to do and laura told, told me that if she hears anything about her 
moving forward that she should just you know ask her first then she'll clarify not to just like move carry it and just start something like they actually had like a proper conversation so he said the one that was in her laura said the one, the one that was in her and you know they squashed it so miriam's matter came up right so he said she doesn't understand miriam this season laura now said that you know said the same thing and that she feels like miriam is just acting a script that she just has a script that she carried to come and act this season and she's just you know going according to that script so he said that she asked her and miriam said that's not it that she didn't even plan the fights that have happened so far and everything but for me i agree with laura i feel like that's what it is because most of the drama most of the fights that have happened with miriam this season it has just been forced it's almost like from where like how do you get from this point to this point like what's all this and then you see her being like you know the way she has been acting is just like okay maybe she just wants to really be talked about or she wants to just do things that will get people talking about how just the attention and it's actually working to be honest because like she gets talked about every every episode on like the other one where it's almost like she was just in the background so she's just like you know showing herself and everything so if that that was her aim this season it's actually been achieved so yeah and then you know i think that's basically it just had the, the reconciliation and, and stuff and then they now chase the new beginnings they also talk about faith yeah they said um so you said that if you don't know how you think that you know she's just trying to form bougie and everything that just like getting to know her she has gotten to understand that that's just how she is she's just like she's just very calm and everything and like i said they chase to new beginnings and then we now had um tanya's event and it was held at zaza it was a clubbing something so um the first person to arrive was sweet that's after tanya had already arrived sweet now arrived and they just the welcome situation was really lovely and they now had like a mini chit chat first of all before the other ladies, ladies came they were talking about um tanya always like not taking shots in the other events tanya was not explaining why she she did that so when she got to faith's event faith now said no that's that was not her event that was dr romeo's event faith now um tanya now said ah but you invited me now so what are we now talking about faith was now trying to explain so tanya now mentioned that she spoke to um dr romeo that's at yeah what's event that she told dr romeo to come have a conversation with faith to you know try to resolve things that how did that go and faith now that's when faith was not explaining that the relationship she has with dr romeo it's not that deep the way he has been portraying it that they're not even that close that they started talking like recently and everything she was now like exposing everything about the way she got to know dr romeo that it was true a friend and that they're not like he doesn't even know so much about her so they're not even close she showed her the chat and everything and then tanya in her normal surprise mode tanya is actually quite hilarious so she was just there looking at oh so that is what exactly is going on here so that guy has just been like bobo in us since so she was just surprised at the revelation she was now she, that's what she now understood she now told faith that ah i have judged you <laughs> I've already judged you, if only you know. And then Faith now said that um Faith was not telling her that she understands. Now, um, in Tanya's confessional, she said that if she was um in Faith's shoes, that she would have thrown Dr. Romeo into the pool at that Botox party where they were dancing, that the guy for in that pool, right? It was just like her um her um what do you call it? Tanya, this particular episode was um, just hilarious. I think she's actually like that hilarious person that shows shades here and there and just likes to catch fun and then um the next person that arrived was laura with her like outfit that is like netty outfit and everything they say hey, laura this is your outside today coming to the club laura says she just wants to have fun you know and then when tony came she was still made reference to laura's outfit that the husband see you before he came out just like you know fun talk and laura just still mentioned that she's here to have fun and just live fully with the live in the moment fully and then um while they were there they were just there they were just there sitting down and the next thing tony was now um looking for miriam she's like where is miriam oh that this party is boring where's miriam i spare life of the party they were just laughing about it the next thing she's like where is raccoon <laughs> 
And um, Finn, I was laughing. Finn, I was just laughing about the situation. Just like, don't like, eh? What's going on? You say, because first of all said, where's your, where's your friend? So Finn was now laughing like, okay, where's your friend? And then um, um, Tony now said, where's Raccoon? Yeah. <laughs> I said to him, it's like, yeah, hi. she was actually behaving like she had, take, she had, she had, had some, some drinks, right? Then, um, after that, we now had Choma. Choma was the next person to arrive. Yeah, Choma was the next person to arrive. She was looking like a Robocop. Abby? <laughs> no, she was looking like a robot, Sha. But she still looks good. And then she just went around, hugged everybody. The vibe was great. The party started with them doing serenade with the drinks presentation. And then Azul, they made sure to have Azul because um to, um Tanya said that um Choma is the Azul queen. So the party had already started at this point. So the next thing Miriam now arrived, she was looking really beautiful. Then immediately she entered, Tony now started screaming. She was like, Miriam, I said, ah, what's going on? And then Faith was just looking at her like, who? Who arrived kind of thing? And um Tony now now called her Raku, like um, referred to Miriam as Raku. She was like Miriam, my beautiful raccoon. I say, hey, Tony is definitely high at this point because, like, what's going on? And then Miriam now made short to shy. It's not her. You remember before she went to sit down and, you know, she just arrived. Not long after she arrived, <laughs> drama started, you guys. It was her arrival that brought the drama. Even though they did not show us the beginning of this drama, but it was her presence that brought up that particular conversation. Miriam was talking about what is bound to happen when the ladies gather, that there's bound to be fights and bickering and everything. So the conversation, it was just like it came out from nowhere. So they didn't show us how it started. So um, at this point, Chema was now saying that, but you keep saying fake, fake, that nobody is fake, nobody's acting fake here, you keep saying fake. Uh, Miriam now made reference to the reconciliation, I mean, the situation between Chema and Laura. She was saying eh, that they were not good, and then now they're not doing, um, she was now doing Laura, Laura. <laughs> And the way she was um, demonstrating that and the way Chema was looking at her, I just knew that, okay, this is not going to end well because at this point, I'm not sure Chema is finding it funny because she keeps saying, oh, and Miriam, Miriam keeps saying they're fake and everything because of how um, Chema was relating with Laura when she saw her. So the, um, it now started, it now, went, it now graduated to like a back and forth. And Miriam was saying that the last time they saw that um, Choma and Laura, that it was not a good situation. I'm like, is this supposed to remain bad? The last time was literally when. So the next time they see, they're supposed to continue, they're supposed to continue fighting. Or I don't even understand. Like the point she was giving wasn't like pointing at all. So she now made a reference to that. And Choma now said that. Ah, you say you are even saying you are equally guilty of it. That you cannot be saying this when you are literally in the same situation. You also had an issue with Choma. Uh, you also had an issue with Laura. So what are we even saying? It's giving like hypocrisy type thing. And then later on, she now revealed that it was even Miriam's idea to be mean to Laura. That's during their Dubai trip, and she accepted. And Laura was shocked. Like ah ah. Miriam, you so she was just shocked that that happened. Laura was shocked. Tanya was shocked. Um, everybody was shocked. It was a shock <laughs> that was happening there. So, um, the only person that was not shocked or that was not even paying attention was Toyin. Toyin was literally focused on her food. She said that all she wanted to do there was eat. She was not ready for any situation. She just wanted to eat her food in peace. So for me, I was not actually really shocked because like they showed this the snippet of this part in the the last episode so i knew that 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 statement i knew that she said it so um laura was shocked at that situation laura said that miriam was the only person that even came to her later on i was asking her how she's doing so it's like you planned this you know i came to meet me like what was that about and then chama was not like hey <laughs> So, you know, you went to meet her and everything that's giving two faced, is giving, the way she said, it's giving Manchester, playing Manchester and playing Arsenal at the same time. That's giving like two faced. Um, yeah, Miriam was now saying that, eh, that she went to meet Laura for something different. That the reason she went to meet Laura was because of Toyin, that Toyin was crying. So she went to meet Laura to go and talk to Toyin. They just started between like back and forth ta, 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 ta. everywhere it was like pew, 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 pew. <laughs> everything was going on um what they call it tanya was not even having it she was just like oh, but i said i didn't want this and this was happening so they just continued talking and the matter just kept escalating choma said you are the one that made us stop talking to laura 
Um, Miriam said, how did I make you stop talking to Laura? Are you stupid? Chema said, are you mad? Ah, <laughs> the whole thing just became more serious. And at some point, it was now about Miriam pointing, you know, the way she talks, she's always like using her hands. Chema said, why are you come to put your hand in my face? Stop doing that. If you do that, I'm going to be back. Because she was not doing it back. And they just continued. And it's just like, yo, this whole thing said, just the entire me. Moving on from that, it was just them still saying the same thing, like, oh, you went behind the back, our back, I mean, you went, you, we are, um, we are playing to sides, we are doing this thing, that, so, that's the whole argument. So, at this point, um, Tanya now called the magician to see whether maybe he will come and do magic and <laughs> change the situation. So, she had a mag- magician on board that was supposed to perform so he came out did like this card magic and it actually helped the mood because they were like really surprised and you know they enjoyed the performance but then we had this um we had this fine ass men that came out and um for t- according to tanya she said they were to like really entertain the single ladies i've been a lady because i think it's it just came out like single so um the men were for choma but Miriam was participating. She was the specimen that they used to participate. So, um, she was there. Just they were just all having fun at this point. Choma snapped to them for a bit, and then um, we also had like a belly dancer that came in to entertain them. Tanya did a very good job with the hosting. Like she had a lot to in terms of entertainment, and she was there first. She welcomed all of them. So it was like the this particular event she did a good job her first hosting was <laughs> it was good i give her that food choke drink choke there was only time i think Chomo, um Tony was choking at some point i don't even know but um it was as if face was trying to help her or something uh, or something of that sort and then later on the vibe was really really good even Choma and uh, miriam they were even dancing together at some point so it's like okay <laughs> It's like they reconciled, the vibe was good, but that's that's for that time because in the next episode they also showed them fights. That's Chema and Miriam, so that was just the vibe getting better for that period or for that time. So that's basically it for this episode. It was just like Tanya's event. Iabo was no was not in the was not in this episode at all. You guys know that she's on a she was on a vacation at this point with her baby. So she didn't even feature at all in this episode. I particularly like that the fight was mainly not around fate because this whole thing, imagine them sitting to plan. Like you guys plan to be mean. Like you sit down, you actually sit down and plan the meanness. Oh my, that's deep. Like I thought maybe, you know, you can just like have feel a certain way about one particular person, but for you to all come together and plan that we're going to be mean to this person like to what end what are you trying to achieve if that's why this season is just weird because if you're focusing on one person it's going to be giving like bullying maybe they even <clears throat> maybe they even sat down and like planned the meanness towards face right that's why it has been like that but this time around it's not all of them we have Tony that's not in that clique and then we have Laura that's not also in that clique um what else is there tanya is just like in the middle sometimes she'll support sometimes she'll not so this time around it's not like that but like in season one at the point at the party point at the points where they were facing laura it was almost like you know it was just there they really like said okay we're going to ignore her i knew that they said they were going to ignore her but the whole the whole thing of being mean like really being mean to her being that just seeing that they planned it so i'm sure faith was just looking at them like ah, so these high people so now like this now they do for here now so now they do for here so she will just use that and understand that okay this is how they operate i'll be able to follow them better like this right so yeah that's basically it what do you guys think about this episode this is the end of this video thanks for watching and don't forget to give it thumbs up thumbs up i'll soon by my tongue and i'm going to see you on the next one Bye, I love you.